Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you the manual small incision cataract surgery. There are many different techniques, many different ways for doing this type of surgery. Today I'm going to show you what I believe is an easy simple technique that does not require any special instruments and I'm going to tell you my tips and tricks for each and every step. We start with a 4-0 superior rectus fixation suture. This fixation suture helps to expose the superior field where we're going to create our scleral tunnel and it also helps during taking out the nucleus later on. Next, we open a fornix based conjunctival periotomy. Doesn't need to be a large one, we only need to expose 7 to 8 mm of the sclera. Gentle coterie for the sclera blood vessels. Now we start creating our scleral tunnel, which is the most important step of the surgery and it defines how the rest of the surgery would go. We start with a straight 6.5 mm incision, 2 mm behind the limbus. Now, at the beginning, it is difficult to get the precise depth from the first attempt. So my advice would be to start with a superficial scratch, superficial incision, then check the depth and you can re-deepen the incision until you get your desired level. This is better than doing a very deep incision that could cause you veal tissue prolapse at an early stage of the surgery. Next, we start creating the tunnel with a crescent knife. Now, we do not start in the middle of the tunnel. Instead, we start to the right side if you're right-handed or to the left side if you're left-handed. Now this way, if you, are, if you started at a very superficial level or a very deep level, you can always abort the tunnel at this side, go to the other side and start a new tunnel which usually goes above or below the first tunnel. This gives you a second chance to continue the surgery with a good scleral tunnel. Once you are in a good level, proceed with a crescent knife for 2 mm in the clear cornea. Then extend your tunnel by moving from inside out and not from outside in. This ensures that you stay in the same level and avoids creating multiple levels which could cause buttonholing or premature entry. Now the tunnel needs to be trapezoid in shape, which means larger from inside than from the outside. This is important for the coaptation of the wound at the end of the surgery. Now, before entering the anterior chamber from the tunnel, we need to create a side port and you can place it wherever you want. I prefer it to be slightly inferior to facilitate removal of the sub-incisional cortex. The anterior chamber is filled with viscoelastic. Then we open the tunnel into the anterior chamber. Now do not enter the tunnel with the tip of the keratome, as this will cause premature entry. Instead, enter the tunnel with the side of the keratome. And then once you are inside the tunnel, you can turn the keratome and open the tunnel into the anterior chamber. Make sure to open the tunnel from, in, from the inside completely. Uh, now, this could be ensured by moving the cannula of the viscoelastic to the sides of the tunnel to make sure that, this, that the tunnel is completely open from inside. The rexus should be larger than usual to allow the nucleus to come out from the capsular bag easily. So we have to create a rexus that's larger than your usual rexus. Now 
Now, hydrogen section to one side usually gets one pole of the nucleus out. Once you get a pole of the nucleus out of the capsular bag, you start rotating the nucleus from the equator of the lens until it's all out and in the anterior chamber. Viscoelastic is injected above the nucleus to protect the endothelium of the cornea and below the nucleus to push the eyes down. Now, to deliver the nucleus out of the eye, we go with a scoop under the nucleus and the Sansky above it, we grasp the nucleus and take it out through the, through the tunnel. Now, at this step, we should keep an eye on the inferior iris as it might get caught with the nucleus which causes iris dialysis. Removal of the cortex is done through the side port. Now notice that the anterior chamber is formed deep and the tunnel is self-sealed. You can implant any type of intraocular lens. Here I implanted a 6.5mm PMMA lens inside the capsular bag viscoelastic is removed from the anterior chamber then the side port is hydrated making sure that the AC is formed and that the wound is checked to make sure that there is no leakage from the wound. Then conjunctiva could be simply closed with cautery. And this concludes our surgery. Thank you so much for watching.